and you can see that I'm actually creating a video as I'm talking to you also. So this video, we, within a short time, you can, the school can create a lot of assets because the lecture is actually the asset for the school. So um, I just remember that I, I needed to create, I needed to do this so that uh, some other people can actually watch this and actually use it to further retrain themselves. So <laughs> if, if not because of this, I want to know. Please, can you give this to someone to pick it up for me uh, outside? So, um, because we are doing elementary, f uh, elementary mathematics, I will go to YouTube and I will look for elementary mathematics. I'm going to delete all this. Mathematics. This is what I expected. Even everybody, once they create their video, they can archive it and store it on YouTube. And this is the process of getting it back from YouTube. We don't keep anything on OES. Everything is integrated to YouTube and is also integrated to H5P, which does a, a real-time dynamic uh, questioning on video, even when it's archived, to let us know that the child, or uh, I mean the, the students, have actually gone through the process, or the learners have gone through the process. So. Um, fundamental in indices. Um, let me just say in indices, because I actually mentioned indices. Indices. Uh, level one. Level one. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. So this is just what I needed here. I needed to copy this out. Can you see the ID? Everybody will have an ID. Even you, if you start creating your lecture now and you finish processing it, that's part of our, that's another school. We have a school for that already. I can always give you a username and password to enter our school on OES. OES is a sub company under Purple B. So, so you must have been hearing oh yes, oh yes. So, so um, when you copy this ID, when you copy this ID, all you just have to do is come back to OES, I mean, come back to the, the, the OOST OES portal and put it here. Automatically, it connects. It connects to the uh, to the video, so I can now write the objective. I can write the objective. Uh, let me. I can pick up the objective here. Mathematics, chemistry. Okay, this is learning objective one. Um, okay, so I think uh, indices, indices, indices. Does it do? Okay, this is part of indices. This will. This should. But I'm going to delete all this from the portal. I come back here. Lecture is to be able to solve problems relating to indices. Indices. Once that is done, the lecture notes must have been created. You can upload it, whether in PDF, whether in PowerPoint, whether in Word documents, and you have two areas that you can use you know, to upload your note. But I don't have any note now, so I'm going to be uh, silent about that. So, and it's a normal class. If it's a lab, you make it a lab session. If it's a normal class, you make it just a normal class. And if you want to link this to OER, I know you understand what it's called OER. OER is Online Educational Resource. It's, it's always good to link it to OER. It's still your content. 
But Oyao will feed the community. And that's part of the things that the web, web metric is actually looking for, like Coursera. You know, there are Stambik actually created, part of the people that created Coursera and the likes with Demi and all those things. You can actually do that with this. But if you don't want OER, if you don't want to do it that way, you can just leave it at default. You don't have to do anything. But I will always advise that it's an, you make it an OER, attach a cost to it, although the cost doesn't really matter because it's still your school. And this is for out of the school uh, students. You can now pick a picture. If this is not important, you can pick a pic picture as you guessed it. If you make it public, they will be able to see it. If you make it private, it is only people who you give access to, who have paid the school fees, who have done all those things that will be able to see it. And that is just the way it is. But I'll make it private because it's still for the school. And it's actually semester one. Uh, I'm going to leave it at semester one. And I'm going to click Submit. After clicking Submit, automatically your asset has been created. You can see it down here. And the person that have created the lecture is also, you know, you can see it on, on the data analytics part of it here. More of this data analytics is going to be seen. And at this junction, other thing is whether you want to, uh, you've created a lecture. The student, we, if the student in this le level and that same class, if they come in, they will see your lecture. So at this point, you can actually, if, uh, if you, some other things that you want to do, maybe relating to other stakeholders, uh, your, uh, uh, if you have issues, you can actually store it here. If you have accommodation, accommodation people can also provision their own too. Uh, accounting part can, they can use it to promote whether a student is in level one or level two, or a lecturer is meant to teach level one or level two or level three, or uh, the calendar, you want to upload all their calendars for all the students to see, you know, attendance, you want to check the attendance of who is coming, who, is, who has a very good attendance in the school. These are all the places that you, I mean, we can't, we can't go through this. We have to be going through it piecewise. But I want to show you through the basic part within a short time, because I know we have spent more than one hour now. I, in the next five, mi five minutes, I'll be stopping so that you can ask questions. Uh, so I will go back to check the user interface to check a, a student. This, uh, I think Omotayo is a student here. Uh, so I will log in as Omotayo. Can you see the QR code automatically generated for Omotayo? Every user, every user on OES, even a student, they will have a QR code attached to them. And that can also be used, uh, that's part of the things we are planning to use for, for the, um, what's it called? For ID card for the school. It's, uh, the, 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 and this can be recognized by the by the uh, by the gate by the gate security people. By they will also have uh, they will also have it on their mobile. Oh, uh, this application has it has a mobile app in which it is branded for who's. I will tell you more about that by the time I'm done. With that, you can actually check the QR code and check whether a student is actually a real student or a staff is a real staff, or somebody that is coming in is meant to be in the school. Uh, so, but I'll talk about that. Those are other things that, so let me quickly log out so that I can showcase the student management system for you. Um, let me log out now and log in as a student. Charles, are you there? I'm writing, I'm taking note of everything. I'm with you, sir. So I've logged in as a student. Let me save it here. Can you see it's different, ma? Hello, ma. Hello, ma. Are you there? Mr. Kingsley, are you there? Oh, well, I'm there. Oh, I'm with you. Okay. But I can still see the work teacher. When you finish, just do control find and replace all the teachers with something else. Thank you. It will be updated. It will be updated, man. It will be updated. I I can that I'm, 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 I'm seeing it. Uh -huh. I can know that I'm seeing it. That's why I mentioned it again. Okay. It will be updated. 
Okay, so uh, if you can see, we have a classroom. We have a test room. That means they can actually create tests on the system. We have an exam room. That means they can actually do an exam on the system. What well, with the video conferencing, everybody you can even review. You can be checking who is actually doing this exam, or somebody by the side is doing. I mean, is doing problem or, or trying to help him do the exam. So I mean, I'm just trying to tell you the capability of what we can extend this to. So uh, you have uh, an IGE. You can actually write a code directly on this hour, on, on this, this uh, if they're dealing, comp dealing with computer and they're teaching them about elementary, or uh, uh, maybe uh, programming language or what have you, they can actually come here and have an ID. They can also use this playground to you know, run their code and submit it to the lecturer. So uh, if I click on this, can you see the lecture that we just created? Wow. And a lot of lectures can actually be created. You know, if I click on this, enter lecture room, it will now take me into the lecture per se. And I will be able to do a video conference. It's asking me to allow. I'll be able to, you know, do video conferencing with the person that has actually created uh, the lecturer. The, every lecturer must have a username and a password. Is that I mean, they can't join us in the room because this is actually connected to another room. So that's why it's, uh, it's not in our own room. It's connecting to the username of the person that logs in, that, I mean, that created the lecture. You understand? So now they can chat. They can chat on their course. Now, here, when we really get the adoption, because this is expensive. This, this there's, an, there's something called H, H5P. You can also set the H5P, H5P, H, H5P, uh, uh, H5P allows you to be able to, when you're watching video, we are not the owner of this video, so that's why it, we are borrowing it. H5P allows us to be able to, as the video is playing, you can do, you can ask questions, you can pause and ask questions and give that feedback to the student, to the, to the lecturer, you know. And so they can also take class work, class test assignments on this. They can download lecture notes. They can click to go out to get, to get, uh, to do this video conferencing like we are doing it. But if they don't want, they don't have to do that. They can actually do it online as we have now. So. Let me pause here. They can pick their curriculum here. They can pick, they can also join a forum, which must have been initiated by the lecturer. So I, I don't know, it's a lot, it's a lot bigger. I mean, I don't want to start going to the detail of what, we, and I know that you are thinking of a lot of things that we can also do with it, but we need to do the, the basis. I just created all this. I know it might not be what we are looking at or what we want to do. I mean, it might not be the, the, the real course code or the way you want to use it. So, but I'm just creating it for the benefit of training. But the earlier we start, the better it is. We are ready to help you provision all this, even within this holiday, so that by January, nothing stops you from running with whatever you want to do. I'm glad that the admission is, is live now. I'm glad that it's okay now. Thank you, ma'am. That's all I have to say. Hello? Do we have any question? Yes, I have questions. Thank you very much for your brilliant presentation and for the good job that you have done. I appreciate you. Um, I may also want to say, I know you mentioned something about cost codes and all of those things. Most likely, since we are going to be adopting CCMAT, we are most likely going to adopt the Hi, code, cost codes as stated in CCMAT also. Video I have that strong feeling. Okay, who is this or you go? I know I'm talking to a black man. I'm seeing a white lady. Sorry, sorry. Um, the laws of indices make solving complex problems involving powers much easier. 
I'm going to... Okay. Yeah. Okay, as much as I love this process, I will also I will want to say that um, this is not the last time you're going to uh, present or explain this process. And they are also... Uh, this is not going to be the last time. It's not going to be. Uh, the last because time. for the lecturers that will use it, for yes, for especially the lecturers, for the students that will also use it, except if you have a, a video already, a training video recorded that they can watch to learn how. You know that the way the interface for the students is different from the teachers, so you want to do two di different videos, or you want to do. A physically come to explain to students or to the lecturers. Okay. So I wanted to forward at this point. Then, as much as I love all of this, at the end of the day, there's one thing that there is, I still, I know you said something about promote. You can't promote a child from one level to the other unless and until the child has written exams, which you said this OES can do. We have seen the result. The result has been processed, and then um, whether it is to, uh, to be promoted, uh, send it sits on it. So that particular part of that thing, because that is the core reason why we have the university. That's the our pro. That's the end result. Okay. All of the lectures, everything will not make sense without results. Okay. So is that? Do you have a result processing part? Of this system or do we need to get another programmer to work on it because results is technical in other level is easy but by the time they get to 200 level because of the medical students their their scoring is different from that of the engineering students and all that so there may be a need to uh, disintegrate or i don't know their the process because that is the main essence of academia without the results there's nothing we are, we are just wasting our time so do we have the result processing part? Not just the place where lecturers will set tests and uh, we need to be able to upload, when they finish exams, they need to upload the results. The result needs to be downloaded. There's, uh, there are several board meetings at the departmental level they will meet on the results. From there, if there's any adjustment, the effect at the college board they will meet. After college, then they send it before the result is then released to the students. Then when the result is released to the student, how will the student get their results? Is there any part of this portal where the student can click and see, oh, this is what I scored in Math 101, Math 102. And then, you know, if you understand my point. So even after all of the lectures, if we don't have a result processing portal, we have not finished the job. Okay, that um, is my to answer that. I actually wanted to take you inside. Please permit me to take you inside and showcase what and to, to start with. To start with, I know there will be peculiarities because this is university and there will be customized peculiarities that has to suit each university. So, I will want to crave your indulgence that we will walk through that process and we will automate that process for you. Right now, what we have is, they do their exam, you can download the exam in Excel results, work on it, and upload the results that you want them to, after you have actually done the update and all those stuff. Because we realize that is not always a seamless process. You can now update that. Once you update that, automatically it goes back to the system. And the CGPA, uh, what are, I mean, CGPA, CPA uh, will be calculated, and uh, the the student can now can now start seeing it on their own view. I don't know whether I'm clear with what I said. Yes, you are. You are, so it's, it's, you are talking now. Yeah, yeah, yes. I'm trying Things to, like that. So that's just the way it's going to be. But I know that we are still going to work on on work with you on this area work with okay. you on this area so but there's something already on the system i don't know whether that is in but let me see i i want to try and um come in it, uh, it doesn't have it does have to happen today because uh, we may need to wrap up this meeting because okay. of the other meetings 
I'm shuttling. I've given you all my attention now. I've ignored those ones. Okay. I need okay. to give them my attention. Okay. Very okay. So we but can the reason that's the one. Yeah, that's why one said the, the administrator that will be in charge of academic affairs to join the call. So, because I wanted to also state this um, in this presence that, okay, this is the OES, this is what we have. I've seen this before. He's just seeing it. But I know the result processing part is the core of academic affairs. Yeah. And that is the core of the university system itself. Okay. So the part of the academic planning is all of the courses and the programs uh, that is already imputed will supply. When I get the approval from CIS, for systemas, I will let you have it. But the other part, the academic affairs part, where you talk of transcripts, results, processing, and all of those things, is also uh, very, very sensitive. And it's very sensitive, too, because you said uh, lecturers will download and do something. I don't want them to do anything to the results. 44 should be 44. There's nothing okay. to be done. Okay. So there should be a system in place. We'll talk about it after. In place where when the lecturer has assessed the results and they've submitted the result, they can't do anything to it unless and until there is a higher power who gives that, uh, that authorizes it. Maybe Senate says, uh, give uh, five marks across board. Okay. You know, it will be recorded in Senate that it was agreed to be done. So okay. the, 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 that can now be affected. Everybody will know that Senate said so. Not that one lecturer will just look at, oh, this is my student, they didn't pass, so I give them 10. No, we don't dash marks. Okay. okay. In fact, that's that's so true. things like that. Yeah, because that, that really shows the, the ability of the students at the time they are writing the exam. So it can give us a true picture of the kind of students we have. So that if we need to change our method of teaching, if we need to modify some things, we will know. Not that one lecturer is trying to look good, another one is trying to fail students, you know. We can also detect all of those things. So... I know it's another part that you may not have looked into, but it doesn't have to happen now. Now okay. you can just uh, look at it while we we now talk about it. it. And, and now that you have raised yeah. it, we'll start looking at it. We've start, we've already started integrating the what I mean integrating the uh, transcript part that you mentioned. But now that you have mentioned it, we'll actually look at it squarely so that. Oh. Uh, all it's right. Because transcript, is, uh, transcript is the re record of the processed results. It's like the the end point. Uh, that's the end point. Of something happens. Yes, something happens before then. Uh -huh. So, and so that then, um, how do we keep our results? Where is it going to be saved? Whose server is going to host it? I know at that point the the management will have to step in because that is that's the core. That's a core senate matter. So, okay. but I'm just uh, giving, and uh, because I'm going to give a feedback of this meeting to the vice chancellor, so that uh, I'll also let him know the things that uh, I raised, and also let him know how we appreciate how far you've gone okay. with this. Um, yes, yes. More or less, like when you are ready, now we are ready. When you are ready to teach, <laughs> we are ready. <laughs> That's what I'm just trying to say. But yeah. we also, we also no will... in order to make make sure that the result thing. It's also tightly, uh, tightly uh, updated on the on the on the portal, and I will work with you. I'll yeah. Work with you on that. All right. Sir. All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. I don't know if there's any other question. I don't know if Kingsley is still in the house. Oh, I think the internet threw him out. Oh. Oh, it's not. Hello, Mr. Kingsley. All right. All right. Sir. I don't. I don't think he's here. If he if he noticed anything, I can always um I can always send it to you or ask him to chat with you since he already have his number. All right, sir. All right, sir. All right, sir. All right, sir. Thank have you, Pop. I know that some people from Pop will be here. Thank you, sir. So. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. God bless. All right. I hope I'm not too tough. People say I'm too tough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're just uh, due diligence because everything falls back, and it's a young university. You have to put it. Yes, it is. Yeah. All right. all right. Thank you for your understanding. Appreciate you all. It's okay, man. Thank you so Thank much. You, man. Yeah. Bye, Bye for now, man. Bye for now. You can close the meeting, uh, Charles. You have the power. Charles.
meeting is still on. Hello, Charles. My meeting is still on. I think you, sh you should close the meeting. Or you close for yourself. All the meeting, everybody in the meeting. Yeah. Okay, great. I think. I'm. I'm.